Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take your Excel skills to the next level by building an advanced search bar for your spreadsheets. Whether you're working with large datasets or just want to simplify filtering, this search bar will help you quickly find exactly what you need. As you see in the screen, when I input a keyword in the search bar, it will search it across all columns and displays the matching results. Let's start. First, you should have a source data to search in. Here I have a date of sales for ABC suppliers, where it has six columns. There should be a blank sheet for the search bar. Let's make a search bar here in blank sheet. For this, click on Insert tab, Illustrations, Shapes. Select rectangular rounded corner and draw it over here. Click on Insert Illustrations icons. Here, search for an icon related with search. Let's select this one and click on Insert. Select the icon, click on Graphics Format tab. In the Graphics fill, select White Color. Decrease the size of the search icon that fits inside the search bar. Drag and drop it inside the bar. Click on Developer tab, click on Insert, then choose this text box Active X Control. Draw the text box inside the bar. Now right click in the text box, then click on Properties. Here in Link Cell, put A1 Cell Reference. Close the Properties window. Click on Developer tab, then deselect this design mode. Now whatever you type in the text box will reflect here in A1 Cell. Go to Source Data Sheet and convert the data to table. For this, click anywhere inside the data and press Ctrl plus A. This selects the whole data. Now press Ctrl plus T. This opens Create Table dialog box. Click on OK. Here you see, Table Design tab is activated. The name of the table is Table 1. Now, copy the column headers of the data and paste it in A4 cell of search bar sheet. Adjust the column widths and font color. Resize the search bar. To move the search box, enable Design Mode in Developer tab. Press Ctrl plus A to select all three objects and group them. Now if you move, all three objects moves together. Below the first column header, we have to use a formula with combination of multiple functions, which will display the result of search. Use this formula here. Equals filter, open parentheses. In this array parameter of filter, put the table name that we created. That was the table one. Give a comma. In this include parameter, we need to combine three functions. First, use the not function, open parentheses. In logical parameter of not, combine is error function, open parentheses. In the value parameter of is error, combine the search function, open parentheses. In find text, click on the A1 cell, give a comma. In this within text parameter, we have to put all column reference of source data by joining each with another. And while joining, we have to use a separator symbol to make sure the search result does not mesh up with multiple columns. First, type the table name and double click on it. Open a square bracket. Choose the first column header by double clicking. Then close the square bracket. Now join a separator with it by using ampersand symbol. Here I will use a asterisk symbol. But make sure, the symbol you use for column separator does not appear in your data. So, type here, ampersand symbol, double quotes, asterisk symbol, double quotes. Again type the ampersand symbol. Now put the second column reference. That is table 1. Open square bracket and choose second column header. That is the customer name. Close the square bracket. Now, join third column with it by using ampersand and asterisk symbol. And repeat it until the last column. Now type three closing parentheses to close search is error and not function. Now we have completed the formula for include parameter of filter function. Give a comma. In the if empty parameter, type double quotation twice. 
Then close a parentheses for filter function. Now press enter. Here, all data will be displayed if there is nothing in the search bar. Change the numbers of a column to short date format. Disable the design mode in developer tab. Let's put here a search value. Let's say keyboard. Here you see only the result for keyboard is displayed. Let's change it to Jack. Now it is searched from sales representative column. Here you have to take care of one thing. That is while searching for dates, we have to put the number value of date in the search bar. Because in the back end, Excel understands every date as a number. For example, if you need to search for January 17th, 2023, put this date here in a blank cell. Click on it and change its format to number. 44943 is the number value of January 17th, 2023. So, Put this 44943 in the search box to search the state. So that was all about the process of making search bar in Excel. If you found this tutorial useful, please give a thumbs up in this video and subscribe to the channel for similar video updates in future. If you want to practice this, download the workbook used here from the description section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in next tutorial.